Hello, good day everyone and welcome to the 6th episode of our recorded gameplay session here in Stellaris. So I'm featuring the Empire. Currently, I'm that I'm going to let's play is the Sarau Corporate Alliance. So for the moment, uh, Henry Whalen just died. So Overseer Pedro Agu Aguera was the one who took over this uh, technocratic dictatorship. So basically, the main uh, objectives of SEA is to re-establish contact on Earth and now that communications have been established it is found out that Earth fell to an alien uh, of course to an alien uh, empire or alien uh, monarchy uh, I don't know what you have to call this to a, uh, to a theocratic monarchy now the main goal of the SEA has been shifted from re-establishing contact to Earth to now liberating Earth in the meantime, while they were planning, uh, SCA is currently, or uh, SCA is currently having economic problems on its own from achieving its long-term goals. So it's a long step because uh, the Soul System is quite the other end of the galaxy, while the SCA is near on the center of the galaxy. So it's uh, quite a long way and objectives to get there. In the meantime. The SEA is busy solving its economic problems. So uh, yeah, and which leads us to here. Now the daily affairs of the SEA is currently they have um, currently at beef with the Provogon sovereign regions, which also led to a territorial war. When intelligence uh, information came that uh, the Provogon uh, region states was uh, planning to invade SEA. So, oh, okay. Um, uh, so, in response, the SEA launched an, uh, uh, more like an offensive war or a preemptive strike. All right, we would like to purchase this service. Uh, for now, that's okay. Um, Okay, so the main goal of the SEA is to open the L gate and then from there conquer the L gate cluster, then launch an invasion from here. Of course, that's the long term goal. Future market survey complete. Okay. Huh, mega structures built. Right. Okay, that seems to be a. Uh, Anyway, it's as long as it doesn't uh, affairs. Oh, another thing that uh, came up with as well is that uh, SA found out that there is another nation or uh, or a stellar nation of man. It's also a lost colony. So we don't know why Earth launched uh, launched another colonization or. I'm just saying this as a lore wise, so uh, I'm still thinking of a story how <laughs> Commonwealth of Man came to be in this uh, playthrough. Anyway, uh, okay, so let's continue on with our. With our uh, so for the moment, uh, SCA is rebuilding its uh, navy. Okay, but for the moment, uh, it's still having uh, a lot of negative, uh, uh, it has to deal a lot of negative on its economy. Uh. Competitors oh, engaged. Okay. Oh, great. Uh, oh, yeah, the SE fleet right now is currently engaged in clearing some, uh, uh, clearing some pathways. Because uh, there's been a lot of uh, so this is the void cloud which is five thousand. Oh my! And the third fleet is, but it seems that the third fleet is winning over the void cloud. Or is it? I'm not sure. Probably it's winning by the numbers. Uh, well, it's already faster, so... Ok, 
think you can just uh, let them do what they have to do there. And we're going to uh, occupy this. It's probably the main goal probably of SA is to chuck this out again. Probably launch a preemptive attack just to break the uh, the Vulcan sovereign regions from uh, uh, mm -hmm. gaining too much power, I guess. In the meantime, we have to rearm uh, the Navy. Probably have to sell some minerals. Huh. Right, uh, so I have to solve this uh, negative. Currently, I'm having problems with the economy. Only four shipyards. Rubica, as far as I know, is um, basically an agricultural world. Upsizing. Hello. Okay, well, what assembly, stronghold, alligators, we're gonna go for auto chain movement. Right. So I guess that closes the border for the SA here. So the only problem I have right now is populating the uh, world. Upscaling complete. Okay, wonderful. Okay, we'll uh, build mining stations over there. This is a refining world, of course. Stronghold. Um, okay. <clears throat> so probably what we're lacking off right now is populations. Oh, it seems that they're currently at war, and uh, the Commonwealth of Man is losing. Gonna not. Yeah, I think so. Well, okay. Well, we're gonna open our borders with them, the fellow humans as well, anyway. Provoken, okay, another focus with the Provokans. Uh, okay, uh. Seems that uh, it uh, our communications with the uh, with the uh, Commonwealth of Man has become positive. So probably we're planning to at least launch a migration treaty with them. Okay, it seems that their uh, navy has already been inferior, probably been decimated. Uh, even looks like that the uh, mankind on the other side of this galaxy or the nearby is also losing on this war okay uh, for the moment uh, SCA is also struggling as well okay it's a deal Goodbye. Okay. Okay, we 
got three cruisers now for the fifth fleet of the SCA, which is the uh, strongest. Okay, uh, right now, I guess we could update the fleet strength here from 10 10, we're going to 5. Okay, we're good. Now the uh. Okay. We're good about that. So we're just go the only thing we need to is uh strengthen the navy. Oh. Okay. I guess that was a mistake with this one. Fort Fleet will have to have a huge Okay. Upscaling complete. Okay, uh, fifth fleet will have to. Okay, the SCA. Uh -huh. Oh, sorry. Right, this was a mistake. So each of it, I I try to keep keep my fleets here on balance. That's why I have only a set of five for destroyers in it. Now this is the SCA Seven Fleet. Okay, um, I'll just assign this one. Uh, okay, where where is this fleet located? To be honest. Wait, wait, wait. I... I think this fleet hasn't been uh, created yet. So we got the 7th fleet here. <sighs> right. Okay, so we got a positive uh, 2 on the energy and positive 1 for the minerals. But we're still negative in the consumer goods. So probably we need a lot of farmlands and... Uh, uh, I don't know, farmlands and... Upscaling complete. Uh, industrial area. Right. Okay, let's just move it there. Oh, great! It's on losing. It's quickly swept. Gonna uh, not. It seems to them uh, the Commonwealth of Man is also being the uh, is, uh, this uh, small uh, fledging interstellar nation of man is also f uh, on its uh, well they do have territorial gains here but they also have losing territories their main capital is also uh, uh, overrun by aliens research actualized <laughs> Okay, we've now got impulse thrusters. So probably what we're going to do now next is probably uh, I think we could go for Citadel. Yeah, make Citadel. Uh, um, yeah, that's more okay. <coughs> so on our ship designer, I hope that we've. Uh, Okay, Sturgeon has been upgraded. Albatross has been upgraded. And Conda class. Oh, okay. Okay, we've already upgraded their engines, so I think the destroyers will have to be upgraded as well. I don't think exists. Okay. Okay. Good. So we've already. So on the cruiser side. Oh, okay. They're on auto upgrade. Okay. Good for us. But although uh, we the SCA doesn't have any cruisers yet, and it's still on its. Uh, 
me. How thoughtful. Okay, war games. Fleet command plus 20 increase. Probably we'll go for fleet command increase of 20. So our fleet has now sized it up to 80. So we have to add a designs. So cruisers. So okay. Okay, we're going to add cruisers for them. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, probably I'm just gonna add some designs here. Okay, so this is the SCA-7 fleet. Okay. Uh, we're probably gonna station this one on noon key. Right. And the new admiral will be now... Oh, okay, I don't have enough unity. Well, that's a bigger problem. Papa Chan movement, stronghold. Uh, we'll go for administrative. Yeah, I think it would be. So we're planning to have, uh... Uh, they're still hostile. So how is this empire holding up? Okay, hopefully our, uh, our relationship with them uh, at least Okay, I guess that's a bit of a problem. Okay, so we're just uh, changing the rights of this species for Bogan. So we're going to change our rights for colonization rights. They're no longer for. They're uh, more like forbidden now. Set so default rights, colonization forbidden. Okay. Sanders rights. Research actualized. Uh, no, we're gonna go for. So we're here to promote uh, humans as uh, the only option. Okay, we got wormhole travel, Upscaling so let's start complete. with the uh, research output. As usual, most of the, uh, as you can see here, most of the, uh, oh, well, this is a guy world. The problem is... We're not gonna set for it because it's protected by the nearby uh, ancient empire here. Okay. They're currently... Huh. Subjugation. Huh. Xenophobe, militarist, and spiritualist. Okay, right, the fifth fleet is... Yeah, let's upgrade all our fleets now. Might be good. Uh, okay, update them. I probably have to recall the SCA second. No, no, no. Uh, update them. Their fleet is missing. It's probably they lost in the battle. Fifth, fourth, and uh, seventh. No 
or quickest one, Lucas Sane as the Admiral. <laughs> Upscaling complete. Okay. We're gonna have some. Probably going to have some sort of Okay, we're just building up defenses here. Ships so upscaled. our goal here is that if a Khan or any marauding empire tries to attack SEA, it should be where where down first by uh, defenses. Okay, uh, okay, so it seems that my uh, PC is uh, currently having a setback and uh, I don't know, it's, uh, it's a good thing that my audio is kind of separate here or else uh, my whole PC would be crashing. <laughs> uh, this always happens a lot on my PC, so probably this also happens on uh, uh, anyway, why that uh, the uh, stalling of my PC has uh, subsided. <sighs> okay, so this is an industrial sector, but the problem is, well, we could have the Rosh uh, uh be occupied. So uh, probably we're gonna have to uh, shift this one is to an either an industrial area and uh, generator district. Yeah. Yeah, the planet Thar. Lot. Nah, I'm not gonna go for Dune. Sand. Okay. Sand. That's a new name. Usual, I'm already negative on food again. Um, well, on strategic resources, I'm no longer negative. So, uh, it's a good positive news. Okay, Sivar Star Imperium. I think this is the Imperium that uh, attacked Earth, if I'm correct. Yeah, see, Warstar, so they're basically psychics. Gamma, this not. Uh, neutral. Yeah, well, things are not looking good for the, uh. I guess for the, uh. Human Stellar Nation here. They only got. Uh, uh, and they're still putting up a resistance, of course. Okay, let's see the market if there's some slave humans. We're gonna buy that life is cheap, but only by those who don't have to pay uh, interplanetary no, shipping rates robots. and import taxes. Okay. Right, uh... Okay, for the moment, uh... Hmm. Okay, um... I don't know if there's humans galaxy wide. Type, traits, rights... 
of an empire, a galaxy, species, uh, servitude, uh, Colonial enterprise established. Okay, uh, let's see if there's a human. There should be a human here. Um, okay, but uh, some of them have already been... Wow, the species maximum habitability. Yeah, they're already been uh, probably from the looks of it. There's still 500... I mean, they've become slaves. Okay. Endangered servitude. Well, that's uh, upscaling complete. Cornucopia. Okay. Um, cornucopia. I think we're gonna go for industrial and uh, farmland with this one. Some robots as well. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Yeah, it's a small planet, but uh, I think that will do. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Cornucopia is a Gaia world. Uh, let me see on the expansion plan or sector. I think this was meant to be an, I think, uh, electrical district, if I'm correct. Uh, expansion. Helos mining system. Helos is basically. Um, we're going to send a robot there, Robot Cowan. Yeah, just named it Tuscany. And, uh, expansion planner, how about mining? Arctic world. Eucomia. Oh, this one. Um,. Okay, have a farmland. No, we are gonna go for robot assembly districts. Um, we're probably gonna go for. Uh, we want our humans to basically flourish here. So it stops all pop assembly droids. Yep, this is the priority. Okay, about the market? Uh, probably they'll buy humans here, somewhere. So I just have to wait patiently. <laughs> In the meantime, uh, yeah, I had a lot of negative economies right now. Research actualized. Okay, we got a research output pumped up. Uh, I'm gonna go for uh, uh, this one. Six. Um. Yeah. Planetary defense hangers.
situation log revised. Maxo, well, yeah. Should investigate this, of course. I'll uh, let my science uh, vessel research that. Upscaling complete. Right. Okay, so we're kind of low on everything. <laughs> Offer... Profile subjugation. Uh, hmm. Yeah, Vasa, more like tributary. Expansionist. Integration prohibited, of course. Uh, we want to go this one, <laughs> of course. It is ridiculous. Uh, Overlord conflicts. Oh, uh, I don't think it's 1560. I don't think that's even available. I think they need to fix this one. Oh. I think this is ridiculous to some extent. I mean, the best way is total war. We're gonna declare war now. Uh huh. Uh huh. I guess I still like the old, uh, old uh, build of uh, Stellaris where you can make an absorbent demand upscaled. and ask them to be their uh, tributaries or as tribute or something like that. Uh, I don't know, I'm kind of happy about And this one is exactly not very good. Already maxed out our... Uh, we're already maxing out our... Uh, okay, so I'm currently having uh, a lot of hang-ups on Research my... Research uh, actualized. Um, I've already put three of my diplomats here, but uh, it seems that progress is very slow. See all of my. Uh, not sure. I guess there's still, still some problems on this build. Okay, we we'll go for district this one. Yeah. Okay, so let's make claims, I guess. Special project actualized. Okay, wonderful. Okay. Fine. 
The Agreements screen provides an overview of our subject and overlord agreements. We can use this screen to keep track of loyalty, manage holdings and trade, and renegotiate the terms of existing agreements. We may... Yeah, of course. Um, Ministry of Extraction probably will go for um, alloys. Okay, we'll go with this one. Yeah, I'm not really comfortable with the overlord system because uh, some of them demand some high influence. They should just keep it about 999. Anyway, some crystal balls the Tron movement and some office. Uh, movement is so we'll probably follow this one and precinct house. So that should do it. The rest of it is, is on its specialization. So this is a farmland cornucopia. Stronghold will probably go for um office uh wait stronghold uh probably go for administrative offices. Okay, uh, they just only sell Xenos for slaves right now. Ships up here. Oh. Built it again. Why did they do that? Uh, Trying to add for. I probably will we'll go for. Okay. Yeah. Five pops. Fentalon two. Colonized. Colony is already the plan. Okay. Currently our economy is not very good at the moment. Research Okay, we're gonna go for that. We'll go for at least 20 and 20% 20 of the basics. That should give us like 561. Yeah. Okay, we'll just wait for that. Uh, Edic fund or no fund system. Probably go with this one. 15 months. In the meantime, I think I have to rearm all my needs uh, here. 
just go here. Let's see, six feet. Okay, I think we have to pour all of this. Okay, right. Subjugation, of course. Uh, tributary. Six hundred. Uh, uh, Three hundred five outside these guys. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna. You know, get some influence points on that. In the meantime, how is the Commonwealth of Man doing? <laughs> Show us your wares. Uh, what's this? Okay. are not doing good right now for the SEA and uh, food we're probably going to buy 10 of them okay so that keeps the SEA going for a while but uh, in the meantime the SEA will have to propose you know conquering this sector or occupying it for resources strong Probably precinct house. Oh no no no, a precinct house. My bad. Uh, unity. Yeah, I get. Yeah, I really hate it that I have to uh, get some more. Um, Forty-three. Well, I'll go for this one. Thirty percent of their holdings. <laughs> so I just need about a hundred twenty-nine. Okay. Okay, we'll just have to patiently wait for that. Wait for the meantime. Okay, physics. Um, probably we have to uh, go with the UV lasers. And antimatter missiles. Wait. Yeah, I guess antimatter missiles. Okay, we got three. So Tuscany is. Planets and sectors or expansion planner. Uh. Helios, I think I have to uh
probably create the... Uh, Oh, this one, I think I have to go. This one is a generation district. Sand will probably have a production district as well. SCA third fleet. Okay, where's the third fleet? boost on the economy, I guess. And still, they're kinda neutral, but, uh... Huh. So, the Commonwealth of Man is a little bit, uh... stubborn, comes to that. Well, suit themselves. What we need right now is basically a market that sells humans. Probably go by continental preference. So there are more androids now than uh, than humans from the looks of this one. So how's the demographics? So humans, uh, the fam. Okay, so I just have to probably wait. So we're just gonna spend our, <laughs> our uh... So let's repair this one. Uh, okay. So we're still currently a negative. We need all the influence points we can get just to, uh, you know, launch a subjugation, I guess. And we're gonna get subjugation from their strategic resources. Uh huh. Division prohibited, uh, 30%. Oh, just need a little more. Strategic is done, but advance would be nice. Mm, yeah, go get them. 30% of their income would be nice. Or we could just propose. Yeah, we could just propose subjugation, we're gonna go for tribulary, but instead of going through that, we're gonna go at least 75%. Oh, okay, we'll make it around 60%. Proceed. So, okay. Now the SEA is going through um, a crazy war, but uh, for now, of course they naturally rejected it, which is going to be very, very problematic for them. What? Oh, this is... 
shell can integrate them. So I just wasted an influence point on that. I think they need. Ah. Uh, this is a problem, really. You know, you can't start a war probably because of uh. Yeah, we do not have any subjugation causes balance or have We should have a cautious belly for subjugation, but I can't understand why there's no cautious belly here. Now I'm really annoyed with this one. <sighs> vessel. There shouldn't be a vessel. Search as nice to be a tributary vessel. Okay. Okay. Well, probably I have to renegotiate terms with the vessel that I have here. It's not the war with the Provigian Commonwealth lacking. 51. Upscaling complete. Well, they're okay with it, but the problem is it's 50 cost 51 influence about that. Antimatter missiles. Um, Probably have to research the Ethereum power. So this is problematic on my case. I mean, I can't declare war with them. This is annoying. You should have a cautious belly of subjugation with this. And instead, uh, I guess they need to go with an update. So basically I couldn't start wars anytime soon. Yeah, probably I'm not. Um, huh, what's this? Oh, the two notification points. There's also some safety fish that was in habitat. Our genetics could use a data to revive extinct species in one of our planets. Go through the color to pick up the species suitable to its climate. Pre important species random filters. Probably will go for cornucopia or rubica. Research actualized. Okay, so. Okay, Gox is basically a tropical. Uh, uh, well, it's an extinct species, so we got a new species here. Um, set rights. Probably, yeah, they're slaves. Um, they get servitude. Okay. They cannot entertain our slavery based ones. Okay. Chattel slavery is mostly. Have increased resource production, but cannot be ruler or specialist jobs. Okay. Uh. Okay, so reptilian will probably be uh Cox. 
Okay, so we're consisting several species here, but the full citizenship is only reserved for humans. Yeah, I'll probably go with the survey speed. Okay. Uh, negotiation treatments. Income transmission. Okay, what's this? Common endless. Oh, okay, that's good. There's been a breakthrough with the Commonwealth of Man. They're now Corio. <coughs> Uh, we're gonna support your independence and offer immigration probably so after the war they become uh, they seek new allies <laughs> probably because their navy has already been devastated okay uh, in any case uh, there's little improvement so I'm just going to save this uh, recorded gaming session uh, this will now be the SCA episode 06A so for now let's take a break and uh let's take a short break and uh i'll also rethink my strategy here hello everyone and welcome back after that refreshing break and let's resume now on what we're uh on our recorded gaming sessions Anyway, I uh, took some time on thinking as well on what I'll do next. It turns out, I found out that I can already ter uh, terraform this uh, world. So what I'm going to do now is of course terraform, uh, terraform most of the worlds here. At least uh, make it at least suitable for uh, human life. I mean at least native human life. So, uh, of course, this is only limited to all worlds in the core region of the SCA. Uh, ocean world, no. Uh, wait, continental. Yeah, okay, we're good with that. Alpine will have to be terraformed as well, but it has an anomaly, so we can't... Uh... Okay, so we got two worlds here, which is a problem. Tropical, it's okay, but we still need to terraform this one with uh, continental. Okay, so I'm just gonna sell uh, some markets for minerals. Trading this one off uh, to continental worlds. Oh great, I didn't know I have most of this are uh, tomb worlds. So probably I have to send tomb worlds as well. Um, I need to boost up my production. So mostly tomb worlds would probably be industrial areas. So if it's a tomb world, um, it's got to be an industrial area. Okay, uh, okay probably I have to... Uh, Avalon, yeah. No, it should be underground. What's the name of an underground? Uh, okay, I'll just check uh, on my... Uh, just give me a moment here. I'm just gonna check on my notes and see uh, which should I name the planets here. <sighs> KKK. Right, uh, I'm gonna check all my notes here. Oh, planet names. Okay, we're gonna name this one Tartarus. That's a nice name. Oh, well, Avalon would be a good name as well. Okay, all only all two worlds, of course. <coughs> um, two worlds. This will be named... Uh, I don't know, probably Tartarus. Yeah, this will be Tartarus. 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 Okay, it's a robot colony, unfortunately. 
uh, earlier I don't want any uh, I don't want any uh, robot columns near the uh, SCA's uh, core worlds but uh, given with the lack of resources we're better off for practicality I guess so we're gonna call this one Nyx uh -huh. okay there we go <coughs> so we're just gonna uh, terraform some worlds here as well. This one's a desert world. We gotta terraform this to on. Uh, uh, wait, where's the continent? Okay, continental. This one will be terraformed to continental as well. Ah, another tomb world. So probably I'll have to launch another. Ah. Uh, I'll name this one Echidna. Echid. Echid. Okay, Echidna. Right. Um, tropical world. We're just gonna terraform this one to. Okay, I lack. Oh, okay, that's kind of suck on my part. Okay, let's see on our resources if there's something that we could sell for. Okay. Uh, let's... Proceed with the start for us to terraform plants with preset and bumper. Okay, that's a problem. Um... I'm gonna go for continental. Okay, I guess. Okay, uh, <clears throat> uh, we're just gonna terraform the Alpine world. Okay, so we got two recipient populations here. Huh. Okay, um. Plan is an anomaly, you can't terraform that. Okay, we better colonize this one with a robot colony. Uh, we'll just call this one... Um... Uh... Ether. Yeah. Ether. Okay. It's good. This world has to be terraformed to probably a continental one. Okay, I guess that's all. So we BSEA launched a campaign to uh, terraform several planets to continental worlds, which is basically suitable for the human population. populations. <sighs> Network administrative, uh, administrative complex, we should go for administrative complex. Um, okay. Huh. They can't still prefer um, offer migration treaty, but uh, upscaling complete. Okay. Now we're just gonna ask our vessel here to renegotiate some terms. Uh, to basically add some low. Uh, okay, we're lacking twenty eight. <laughs> uh, problem is, um, I don't know why I can't make uh, an excuse here for war for subjugation. Cause a spelly. Okay, uh, offer subjugation. Uh, propose subjugation, tributary. Uh huh. Cost is 141. We're lacking. Okay. Uh, research, research actualized. Okay. We got Batarian power. Uh, we'll probably go for research pumping. Uh, 
Okay, we got some cordials. So we're still rebuilding our navy here in preparation for an invasion. Um, six fleet needs to be a little bit pumping. There's no trade deal here. Ah, generally. Okay, of the Kenda Marines, so we just have to recruit a new one. Uh, we'll go for the butcher this time. Hand me the casting room. Okay, we could terraform this one. To continental world. Project accurate. Okay, we had a dead scientist right now. Uh, probably we'll have to change the younger one. Raymond Laval. Okay, we just need at least a month. Okay, I guess that will up the population of the uh, uh, of SCA. So the only thing I'm waiting for right now is a migration treaty to at least accommodate uh, native humans from Earth. <laughs> well, they're cordial, but they're kind of like... Okay, we'll just let them be. Okay, what's Tuscany? I think Tuscany has a high rate. This will be a generational world, probably. Uh, yeah, okay, uh, we'll build these four. And the rest. And build it with a robot colony. Yep, love with Claris. <laughs> Sam would probably be an industrial, uh, industrial planet, I guess. Okay, right. Okay, Rashka will probably be a factory world because we need those. Uh, this is gonna be a robot. Uh, decisions. Yeah, we're not gonna stop pop growth with that. Um, yeah, okay. One, two, three, four. And then all this. Um, okay, that's uh, good enough, I guess. Now we have to negotiate some agreements here with our Bavolga Commonwealth. Oh, 27 months. Okay, that's great. How about this one? We have to negotiate agreements. Uh -huh. Lacking 100. Okay, so we can ease their uh, 
Yeah, in exchange for minerals, we're gonna... <coughs> How about this one? Oh, they're still okay with it. Well, nice. Yeah. Gonna up. Okay, we're just gonna minus it a little here, and how about here? Yeah, I kinda hated it, so, uh... Or how about... Yeah, okay, fine. We'll just negotiate with that. Okay, well, at least I could get some resources out of those, uh... Strategic resources out of my, uh, new vessels. Right. Okay, what's this one? Colony, of course. Um, kind of lack of food right now, but this one is, isn't suitable for it. So, uh, all pop growth. So, uh, this is gonna be a refinery world, I guess. But it's more on late on industrial. Okay. Four. Ten. Yeah. Okay. That's good enough. It's a robot colony, I guess. Uh, okay. Physics research and cooperation. Probably with the X ray lasers. Takes 22 months. Yes, of course. Okay, well, they're disloyal, yeah. Cordial. Huh. Yeah, okay, fine, whatever. My next target will be this one. Okay, we got now up all our... Uh... Okay, so our vessels are gonna be our uh, tributaries, I guess. But for now, uh, I can negotiate agreements with Provoga Commonwealth. But it's okay. Well, I could create one Commonwealth here, I guess. Um, a tributary state. Defense impact in the Confederate and Yamasera Confederation. Okay. So they got a defensive, uh, probably they're gonna go to war soon. But how or when? Okay, it's up north. Ah, okay, this is a problem because they're democracy. Okay, I'm not sure how hyper relays work because I haven't tested it uh, or I haven't built one. Okay, for now we are doing good on our economy. So I guess that's uh, it. It worked. It's just a waste of influence uh, trying to um, uh, what do you call this? Probably the only thing I could make out of this is basically. Uh, make some claims. Anyway, um... Okay, so how about the markets here? Are they selling you? Oh, we got a pretty tea! Uh-huh. Uh... -huh. uh Okay, I'll make them as uh, Alpine World. What's this? Savanna. Do I have any Savanna Worlds here? Oh, great. We got. For right now, we got only just some useless slugs. <coughs> okay, they is gonna be upgraded, I guess. Uh, 
Tacoma Industrial District. Okay, it's a deal. Goodbye. So this is UNS. Sizing. 200 and then anti gravity engineering. Okay, uh. Right. Um. Okay, probably I'll go with this one. <coughs> okay, so far there's no war wars here. Six thousand. Oh my. Okay, I'll up my uh, seventh fleet again. Upgrading complete. I guess this has something to do with the policies. Well, subjugation, war terms, probably oppressive. We're gonna go for very oppressive. Overlook conflicts all. It does in 579. I don't exactly have enough influence that will uh, total 100, 1700 uh, something like that. And uh, my influence is total only stored is 1000. Our stats regarding the initial agreement terms for based on societies will be subjugated by a war. Colonial enterprise outsizing. Okay, then native enlightenment, unrestricted resettlement, plan of operation, cautious. Economic policy, artificial intelligence, preceptions are protected. Refugees are welcome because we needed populations. Okay, we finally finished this one. Oh, wait. Okay. So, uh, we still need one, I guess. For the war. Hmm. Probably I'll go for Galactic Force Projection. Which, basically, uh, we need a huge navy if we're going to retake, uh, Earth. Probably a Colossus Project. Force Research. And a World Shaper. Hmm. Okay, uh, we're the class of ours formally considered wrongfully deadly and beyond salvation. Hmm. Yeah, we're probably gonna need that to detox plants. For 
for now, our technology is quite limited. could form a federation with this one. Well, we could guarantee your independence and open our borders. Probably have to relocate one. Uh, <coughs> I'm just gonna relocate one here. Oh, one envoy, I guess. Materialist fools. It's mostly passing infidel unbelievers, which is okay. So their spiritualist is really uh, basically having some problems with our uh, materialist. So I guess this is a no-no for them. Well, if you can't take him, we'll just go get him. Take a wormhole travel. Uh, I think I'll go take a science vessel. So I'm gonna commission a science vessel to explore that uh, wormhole and where it leads to. Uh, Taya is a refining world which we need some gas. Uh, okay, gas refinery. Okay, I'm okay with that. Oh, okay, has a robot assembly plans. Why the hell would they want a robot assembly? Anyway. Uh, we're gonna take this one with... Uh, Right, uh... Okay, so there's not much going on in episode 6. Uh, probably I just have to close the borders here. <coughs> Yeah, speaking of which, uh, we could talk to the curator. Okay, uh, no, <coughs> sorry. So we still need else I need credited stockpile, must be at least greater. Okay, so that if that's the only problem, please do. Goodbye. So, um, for the L gate cluster, we only have one left for our research to open it. Hopefully we're not opening some, uh, I don't know, some seriously uh, <laughs> uh, nanite army uh, pouring out of the L gates. Barren world. Okay, 
our assembly packs. Don't forget this one and So for now I got 22 planets. It's wonderful that I have now this uh, my economy is now on all the positive side. Uh, later on, when I started this uh, game uh, recording session, everything was negative. But uh, oh, what's this? Oh, what's this? High Admiral Gabber. Legionnaires. Oh, okay. So this is a mercenary. Well, 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 it seems that this is indeed uh, getting a lot of interest. Unfortunately, I cannot declare war yet here for some reason. Quick war goal. Vulcan Sovereign Regions. Okay, so we're just gonna prepare for that. <clears throat> okay, so they're cordial with us. However, we cannot reach a migration. Okay, in the meantime, there's pirates. Right. Okay, so this is worse. I will go have to assign the seventh fleet. And on my case. Ah, send our fleet to detect an approach on screen. Go on red alert, okay? Uh, guess, uh, okay, so we have to do battle with this one. Hopefully they'll reach it in time. Okay, uh, right, so I uh, have to sell twice this one. And some gas. For it to anyway, the main purpose of it is, of course, to delay the uh, advance. That's why we have the uh, the minion uh, uh, star base. <sighs> okay. Who pay you to raid us? But that's secret. They were Dromax like yourself. But other Dromax, that's all we can say. Heh. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see how this plays out. This is where the Galactic community votes to pass or defeat the the queue which have the most diplomatic support. Okay, so again I'm on negative side. Uh, 
Okay. The Uri Commonwealth has been defeated. Lacking five. Okay. Stronghold will probably go get the Optron one. Okay, we're just gonna go at least 45% of your within four months. Okay. that there's no movement of sorts <clears throat> okay so where is the fleet attacking we don't know Similar plant stronghold, not the child movement, so we're probably getting a trade. Go get the trade. Uh, Tartars will have to be probably in generator district, I guess. Okay, Tartarus is basically a two world, so what we're going to do is uh, all pop worlds and stop. is basically gonna be um, Okay, so this is weird, they're not attacking exactly here. Starbase under assault. Colonial Enterprise Uprising. Okay, right.
Okay, I um, think I have to reorganize some of my uh, sites as well. Right, no bell. Oh wait, no bell's already uh... Archimedes... Archimedes has to be... A gel and uh... Okay, he's already exploring. Walter Ray should be doing this. Okay, nearest anomaly here. Hmm. Right, could go here. Okay, the Admiral just died. And we're currently preparing. However, I'm not sure why there's no pirate fleet here. Huh. Old guard in his Gaia world. Okay, right. Okay, wonderful. Avalon is probably gonna be an industrial world or a refinery world. It's gonna be a refinery world. Um we'll start all tops. Uh, I guess that uh, is that our system. New Coventry. Huh. Right, I uh, probably go with the food processing with this one. Sand, stronghold, probably commercial. Um, ah, Atakan, I don't know. Right. Avalon. Okay, our uh, new overseer has just died, so... Otto. Okay. Alright, so I guess nothing is going on right now here. Side that, uh. Now we go for, um. K. 
chemical plants. Yeah, okay, we're gonna go for, yeah, the finery is okay with me. So this is kind of getting boring, there's no active fights for now for the SCA and the units here are less, uh, I don't know, they're, they're less, uh, uh, they're less welcome to be honest. Okay. Where's the seventh fleet anyway? Okay, I guess the seventh fleet we have to go here. Okay, so we are going to positions. Uh, oh, treat. 25 pops from the dimensional portal. Okay. So I guess that is just the two hours. I'm back again on being the negative. So there's not uh, any threat for now. relations uh, just basically not moving forward probably would be best if I just launch uh, some sort of uh, campaign here and conquer this system and there's no sign of any bandits here Yeah, okay. okay you probably have this wormhole explored. Gonna... See the wormhole. So it's on the other side of the galaxy. Interesting and the primitive design. Oh. Well, that's not anywhere near, to be honest. We could just launch a war with this one. Uh, I'm pretty much stuck here on how to get war. 
Uh. Okay, probably I'll just have to make claims the old fashioned way, unfortunately. So we're gonna get these, these, these. Okay, and we're gonna go claim this one on other systems here. Oh. So we're protection declared. Ah, okay, so I guess they're now at war with the... Uh, well, this is a losing battle, to be honest. But I mean, at least uh, a losing war for the Commonwealth of Man. Stronghold, commercial zones, at the child movement. Probably go for ad resistance. So in the meantime, uh, probably do some uh, engineering research here. Okay. Uh, So we're probably gonna launch a war here. Just have to redirect my forces, I guess, here. Um, and probably on this case, I just have to uh, cut off my defenses. In the meantime, um, Cut off that detritus to be processed for a first thing in the galaxy. Yes, yeah, it's just crystallized. Yeah. with a lot of cannons. So I guess there was some one uh, misdirection here, but uh, we're okay with that. We'll probably send this one. Clear level. Commonwealth of Man is not exactly uh, going anywhere from the looks of it, and from the looks of it, they will, uh, well, they will be asking, uh, Oh, okay, they won with the most citizen, citizen war. Upscaling okay. complete. Okay. But let's see if they are uh, going to win a war here. For now, the SCA is now preparing the long-awaited war here after several months and years of uh, uh, several years of planning. 
Echidna, as expected, will be a refinery, but industrial world. And no humans, of course, or no biological pops. So, okay, we're gonna save this one for now. This will be um, SCA episode 06B. So, again, uh, thank you for the long, boring session that happened here on episode 6. And uh, see you around on my next uh, recorded gaming session. Bye-bye for now.